Hello all. Um, we're in the process right now, getting all packed up. I think we are all packed up. I'll put a picture up here. To do a, a four day trip heading up north, we're gonna be joined by some good friends, some new friends. Pretty much all of them are YouTubers, so it'll be a lot of filming and a lot of fun. A lot of them you know already, most of them you probably know, probably all of them you know already. So anyway, just in time, um, I did receive some new gear in the mail. Uh, I did receive uh, some things that were sent to me for review. I uh, actually purchased two items. Um, one of them, uh, I'll tell you right away, it's from a company, this is what I purchased. It's called Get Out Gear. And what it is, it's a down blanket. Uh, my friend Crow from As the Crow Flies Hiking has one. He, uh, he likes it a lot and where we're going, it's the summer months. I'm not gonna bring my heavy quilt, my, my light equipment, 20 degree. I just think it's overkill. So with that, I also ordered, let me get some of this out of the way because it's right in line with that. This just came. I haven't opened these yet at all, so I hope I don't rip anything. All right, so I got Nancy one too. It's from, this is a packable down throw, Blue Ridge Active. And uh, I'll put up the, uh, specs to this but it's actually it's 60 inches by 70 inches so i didn't use this one because it wouldn't have been uh long enough for me it has 700 fill power ultra lightweight filled with premium quality down ultra warm and there's a stuff sack included i don't know why it's not in the stuff sack already because you know how those stuff sacks are you can never get them back in here now the one that i got from get out gear it's already in my pack. So I can't show you that, but I will do a review on both of these because I have not used them. And this one here is the one Nancy's going to be using, I think. <laughs> uh, and it's from Blue Ridge. Now, I'll just tell you the price difference. The one I got uh, from Get Out Gear had snaps on it and it had a little more bells and whistles with it. And that was $70, $69.99. I'm trying to remember what I paid for this, but I think this one was more like uh, $36. So we'll see how they work out, where we're going. It's gonna be up in the mountains, but I think it's still gonna be warm. So, okay, this is a company that reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to review on a shelter. This is a tent. Um, some of you may have seen Ice Bear, Ice Bear Hikes. She's a good friend of mine, a, a family member. We've done a couple trips together and she did an outstanding job on reviewing this. So go check her channel out. I'll put a link into it if you wanna see her review on this, but let's get this open and see exactly what they sent me. I think I know the tent they sent, but you never know. So I don't wanna rip anything. All right. So, okay. I love doing that. Oh, great. Here goes my tinnitus in my ear, acting up doing that. So, this is the tent. And I will set this up and I will go through review. I'm not taking this with me because I've already, like I said, packed up everything. And, but I will do a review on this tent. All right, so it is the one that Ice Bear had. The reason I know that is because it's a camouflage tent. The reason I was excited about this White Hills tent, it's pretty unique. And I'll show you all about why I feel that it's unique uh, just the way that it sets up and uh, and 
you know, just, well, I'll show you. Anyway, so we'll get into that later and I'll do a review on this once I get it set up. So let's see what we've got here in this White Hills Gear Shelter. And before I forget, thank you very much, Kathy, at White Hills Gear for sending this out to me. Uh, I've been really interested in checking this tent out because of its unique features. And uh, let's get her set up and I won't go through all the, I'll kind of speed this up a little bit. I'll just point out the uh, important features of this tent. Uh, like I said, my friend Ice Bear did a review on this already. So we, between her and my review, check it out. I think you'll get a good idea what's going on with it. So let's get So this the go. first thing you want to do is you got four really easy corners to stake out. And they will be the ones with the little loops on them. On all four sides. All right. So... Get those four in there nice and tight. And let's okay, this out. was my first time setting this up. I ran out of kind of room here because of the patio, but that's okay. Let me show you what I did first. You saw that I staked out all four bottoms. Then there is another stake here that is on a line lock that brings the flow of uh, air through the tent from the other side. There's a pull out here. Of course, I didn't have enough room, so I just tied it to the, off to there, which it could do that, but there is a stake that comes with it, but you can pull it up further if you get a tree behind you or something. Now, I tied, these are the, the guidelines that came with it. Um, I don't know if, how anybody else would do it, but I like to take the point of the trek and pole, bring it up through there, and then tie this line. I took and tied loop knots on every one of these. I don't know, it must be just a fisherman thing in me, but uh, it goes through this uh, the little loop here, and that way it doesn't bunch it all up. It comes down to a line lock there, and you uh, stake it out. Now I got the handle of the trek and pole down there, and there are four trek and poles, but let me show you how you could do this. Being that there are these loops and there's toggles all along the top of this and all back to the other side where the other loop is right here and of course another toggle. Now you could take and run a paracord or some kind of ridge line, tie it from a tree to the tree, or you could even take these toggles and tie them up to a tree. And then by that doing that, you would eliminate this set of trekking poles. And the reason I'm saying that is, if you're by yourself, you don't travel with four trekking poles, at least I don't. And uh, okay, so I have these all set up with the trekking poles. Uh, I think I put these at like 120, 125. And again, I like to have the handles down there, the point coming up here so it doesn't, you know, fits in that hole real nicely. I've got the uh, breezeway line coming out right there to open that all up. So far, so good. I'm, I'm loving this material. Uh, it's really sturdy. I uh, love the, the uh, camouflage. Okay, now... Coming off of this side, you can see it's kind of like a little rain guard. So if when you're inside the tent, anything that's coming from this direction, it, 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 the, it'll stop the rain. And that also comes with a, a line lock to a, to a stake there. Unfortunately, <laughs> I did not receive one of those little lines for there. No problem for me because I got tons of them, but you know, somebody who just buys this tent you know, that would be one little piece of material that didn't come with it. I don't know what happened. It didn't fall out or anything. I looked around, but no big deal for me. Okay, this is in the porch mode. Um, so we've got, again, lines coming out here. I tied a loop knot on this, ran it down to a stake, and there you go. Let's go inside and check this out. in here you got a full moon 
mesh zipper. Goes all the way around. And pretty much gives you a really nice breezy bug proof shelter here. What I want to check out is the length of this for me sleeping in here. Uh, no problem. Actually, I could sleep on this end and I could put Nancy closer to the other side and because she's shorter and my head don't hit. And I think we could fit two people in here real easy. I know Ice Bear was saying that she was kind of concerned that maybe I wouldn't fit in it, but I fit in it perfectly. And uh, I like this. Um, you know, I'm going to use this on one of my trips. Definitely. I was kind of skeptical. Oh, there's, let me bring the camera in here a minute. Love these zippers. These zippers work real well. I mean, you could close this down. You can lower this, bring the poles for the porch mode down, and you would be able to, um, uh, have the water run off it more. And if you notice right above here, there's one, two, three toggles. And I'm sure that's where you roll this up like this. It's the first time I've been in this tent. So like every tent, every shelter that you have, you start, you learn it's little quirks and, and things that make it easier for you when you go to set it up. But there's three of those, so you can tie that all up. So let me bring the camera. Okay. As you can see, we're in the tent now. This is the screen mesh where good air flows. So you've not only got the two mesh pockets on that end and on the other end, you got one on the back side here, one on there, and of course, like I said, one in the back. I'm sitting up in this right now with my hat on, and uh, my head's not touching, no more than any other tent put a link to this uh, tent on their website and you can look up all the specifications for it. It's starting to rain. While it's raining here, I'll show you why this side little thing works real well. Here's the inside of the tent through the screen. If that wasn't there, there could be splash coming up from there. It won't be splash coming from the front because the porch is there, but from the side, you would have that splash from the rain hitting really hard up into there. And by having this here on both sides, it keeps that splashing from coming up inside the tent. So as you can see, I could sit out here, cook, be underneath this canopy. Uh, it could be raining, drizzling, and uh, still be able to sit here in the tent. Uh, the two of us could sit here. We could fit two people in this tent. Our gear could be out here. Of course, you could lower the uh, porch down a bit just to run the water off more because you probably wouldn't want uh, water uh, collecting up here. So you'd want to have some runoffs. I like the side little vents there. It keeps some splatter coming in from those sides. I will work that out on this side. But what a great, unique idea for this tent. And I will be bringing it on a lot of trips. I uh, can imagine if something was like this made out of Dyneema and it only weighed half the, half the amount. I see a lot of companies start using this design. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, a lot of guidelines, uh, but once you get the hang of it, you learn all the uh, ins and outs and little quirks with it, it's easy to set up. This was my first time and I had this whole thing set up with the guidelines on it and everything else within 15 minutes. So next time I set it up, everything's attached already and I'll be able to throw it up in like five minutes. So anyway, thanks guys. You'll see me out on the uh, trail with this and Kathy at White Hills, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is a beautiful tent, very sturdy, well-made. Um, check out Ice Bear. She did Ice Bear Hikes. She did a really tremendous, much better review than I do. She's, uh, she's better at it. And uh, she put it through a rain test and everything else on the trail, and it held up nicely. So, if I didn't say this already, maybe even by the time you see this video, I will be up in the mountains for a four-day trip with a bunch of YouTubers that you know, and it's going to be lots of fun. So, hey guys, thank you for... Uh, 
watching this video and stay tuned for my upcoming trip. Then when I come back from the mountains two weeks after that, I'm on the road for almost a month in the van doing camping, backpacking, hiking from here to uh, Picture Rocks, uh, Michigan. So thank you again. Thanks for following Walker's World and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Got one of these uh, late afternoon Florida rains that come and go quickly. Pulls things down. Sitting in my yard in my pen. <laughs> oh, what a child.